help me! Hi! Hello! And welcome in to what I suppose is going to be another vlog. Um, these vlogs are probably going to be a bit more sporadic than when I first moved into this place, because I recall I like I churned those ones out, but there's like so much more to do with the new place because I've got big plans. Um, so I'm not sure when you're seeing this, but this is going to be the start to a new vlog. Guys, yesterday, obviously yesterday was the day I got the keys. I did the tour. Um, and mainly what I did yesterday was, do you know all the changes that I mentioned in the last vlog about like taking one of the beds down, moving the sofa, dismantling the dining room table, did all that yesterday because I did take the first load of stuff over, but I was just like, why am I bringing stuff over to clutter the space without being able to put them straight into their spot? Does that make sense? So I focused yesterday on getting all that stuff done, which I did get it all done. And I did take one load of clothes over but today is the day where we're taking everything over as much as I can. I've ordered so much stuff, guys. Oh my God, last night I went on a fucking like online shopping binge, right? I've ordered a TV, I've ordered a sofa, I've ordered a coffee table, I've ordered glasses, I've ordered a kettle, a toaster, all of which are the fucking vibes. I'm excited to show you them. The delivery start today, like the TV's arriving today. So I'll be sure to show you obviously when it arrives. It's a very fun TV, let me tell you that. But um, yeah, so let me just quickly show you the, the current situation in my old flat. So this is my, oh, let me just zoom you out. This is obviously my first load that I'm gonna be taking over literally momentarily. Didn't tell you, but it is literally half a state. So this is the first load of stuff going. Then this is kind of the current situation. Carnage, to be honest. Um, trust me, it looked a lot worse like last night. I kind of got myself together last night because it was a bomb sight when I got back. So I'm not sure how much I'm gonna vlog of me like taking stuff over because it's a very boring experience. Um, and I imagine this is gonna be a vlog over quite a few days, but come come along for the ride. Okay, hi, I look a tiny bit rough, but you know what? Not showered in two days, not shaved. So it is what it is, there's more important things afoot. That sofa's gone, I'll tell you where it is in a minute. Then obviously, that's where my TV's gonna go. Um, that's gone. The chairs, two of them are on my balcony two are in storage, but they're very easy to get out if I need more chairs for people when they come. Um, then, this is gonna be my filming setup. Obviously, there's a lot of finessing to be had. So, this is where I'm hopefully gonna be sitting. This is gonna have all my merch stuff on. It's already got one piece from the intro on there already, okay? That's where my desk's gonna go. I'm gonna get new lights, editing space, that's where that's gonna be, okay? So I'll be able to watch things on my Mac, because usually I had to sit on my bed, watch things on my iPad or something, which was just not, it was not the vibe. So now that I've got this space, I'm using it, Hums. Then, move the drawers into here. These have got underwear, workout wear, all sorts. They're gonna have obviously more stuff in there. Then, oh, obviously like the bed's gone in there too. Um, there's now a mattress underneath this, just in case people come over and I need a spare mattress, I can just pull it out. This bed frame is now in here. We have a TV, everyone, we have a TV. And the plan was, God, did you see that <laughs> The plan was initially to get my TV when my mum and dad moved all the big stuff in, um, just because I wasn't sure about getting it delivered. So obviously it's a new place, don't know how it all works. But last night I went online and I was like, just having a look at kind of the one that I was interested in. Um, and I saw this one that is an Ambilight TV, which is one of the ones that like, basically, whatever you're watching, the screen light is also projected behind the TV, so it kind of casts a really cool atmosphere. So, yeah, I guess let's unbox this shit. Now I've not got a knife or scissors, which I'm just now realising. Um, let me tell you guys, today I have one. I have bedding, I have my bed made, I have all my clothes here, I have my lights and stuff for filming, I have one little table, a little rug, I've got my records. So I am making progress, it's, it's, it's slow, don't get me wrong, it's slow progress, but it's fine. I'm excited, this is our first purchase for the new flat, and I've never owned a TV, so this is a big step for me, to be honest. 
Um, do I try and open it fully like this? Maybe that's it. Maybe that, maybe this is the move. Oh my god. Guys, I feel like I'm a vlogger. Should I start a vlog channel? Let me know. Because I, I, I mean, I wouldn't mind vlogging. It's just like, I, I actually, no. Correction. I actually love vlogging. Um, but I, do, I find that like, I don't have a lot of fun things happen in my life um, that are worth vlogging. But let me know if I should start a vlog channel and if you'd subscribe. If so, oh my god. If so, um, would you would you prefer like would you be interested in like daily vlogs or like little vlogs here and there? Because realistically, like they, they won't be the most exciting. Obviously, if you've got something fun happening, then they definitely will be. But that's a rare occurrence in my life. I'm pretty chill. Oh my god, man! I swear I'm not. Weak. I swear I'm not weak. I swear. This is giving weak, isn't it? But I swear I'm not. Oh my god, I just want to be Am I doing something wrong? I feel like you guys are going to be screaming at me to do it certain way. Okay. We did it. Guys, I set her up. How gorge. And yeah, look, so you, so you can see like, um, like it changes color with like the stuff that you click on or whatever, like it mimics that. Hi, Emma. Hi, Sophia and Shinsia. Just having a quick look into my Spotify. <laughs> Guys, if you haven't listened to this album, do yourself a favor. It's fucking incredible. Um, but yeah, TV sorted. I'm now gonna try and go and do a little bit of retail therapy. I am think. I mean, I say that, I've just ordered a very exciting purchase for my background for filming, but you'll see that when it arrives, it should be coming tomorrow. I'm now gonna go get some hangers so then I can properly hang up all my shit. I am so sorry. I was actually planning on doing like a cute little clip in TK Maxx. Um, by the way, I got my coat hangers. Um, I was planning on doing a really cute clip in TK Maxx, but I checked the time they close and because it's a Sunday, they close at five and it's currently like half past four, 20 to five now. So I literally ran in, looked at the coat hangers that they had and had like, I needed the most they had in black. And I just, guys, I just ran and I got 90. <laughs> I look so ugly, what the fuck? First bath in the new crib, and I look ridiculous. <laughs> okay, bye. Good night. Okay. You are currently in my cupboard um, because I have nowhere else to put you, um, and you're also on my phone. But we've got a toaster. That arrived. My glasses, they've arrived. They're fucking cool, okay? I'm also waiting on my kettle arriving today, which is kind of a matching set for the toaster. Guys, how fucking cool are these glasses? So I got, I'm wanting to go very like fun and unique for like everything. Like my whole vibe for this place, I want it to look like a big showroom for like loads of unique pieces, but obviously still have a cozy, cozy feel. Like there's gonna be lots of rugs, lots of plants. Like it's gonna still have my quintessential vibes, but I just really wanted it to um, kind of like a showroom because I want everything that I like, all the main pieces and stuff, I want them to be really unique. Um, even down to the glasses. And then we got a slightly smaller option. These are more like a little tumbler. Like imagine like a little glass of orange juice. Oh, but yeah, I got these. I've also, well, these come in blue and orange. How cute. So I got four of these and four of the big cups. Don't really know how to show you it. I'm also not wearing bottoms, so I guess if you can see, if you can see me bits. You can see me bits and pieces, I'm sorry. Uh, guys, so as I've just said, I want to go very unique with a lot a lot of my decor. 
So, I found this toaster on Argos. Um, I did find different ones on Argos, but then I, oh, but then they went out of stock. It was kind of a happy accident because then I loved this even more. <laughs> the color was putty. Now, do we have to be that weird? I mean, just call it like cream or something. She's gorgeous and I've got a kettle that's coming that's matching to this. But guys, when you see the kettle, oh my God, the kettle is a moment and a half. It's happening guys, it's happening. Obviously you guys saw I had my first bath last night in the new place. But yeah, I love these glasses. These are a lovely size too. And they're handmade. <clears throat> Um, just got another thing saying that my kettle's been delivered, so let's go get that. Hi. I'm not wearing trousers, okay? I'm in my own home. But, guys, I'm currently unpacking, um, because basically, you saw I went to get some hangers, right? Look. At that. Like, that? is exactly what I want. Like, that is beautiful. So I'm about to basically do that to the rest of this. Okay, so this is definitely not finished yet. But for now, this is kind of the, the shindig with the t-shirt. It's like, oh, the only things that kind of annoy me is, is stuff like this. Like, I don't get me wrong, love this top, guys. Ugly man. Oh, great top. But it's got a fucking red top. So like, it, it kind of breaks up the white section, which is kind of annoying. But you know what? It is what it is. Um, I still think that looks pretty good. I tried to be as chronological in terms of the rainbow as possible but to be honest guys look how incredible that looks i'm thinking coats here i'm doing trainers down here i did have a pair of trainers there but i wore them um so i need to put them back but i'm doing trainers down here i do want to get another pair of dunks to fill in that gap and then they can go down there and then they can go in just this cupboard that i've got um by the bathroom. So that's kind of the plan for this part. And then I've got all this to organize. Like I need to sort out all my hoodies into chronological order. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Um, but for now, before I go shopping, I think that's good progress. So I'm, I think I'm about just to do, that wasn't English. I'm just gonna do my merch stuff, put them up all on there. And then I'm gonna go shopping. Guys, I don't like what I'm wearing. But I feel like I need to wear proper clothes. Like for the past few days, all I've worn is like the most basic shorts and like hoodies. Um, but I don't like this. Like these jeans don't fit well. Like I'm kind of I'm kind of getting to the point where like none of my trousers or anything fit ever. So I think I have to buy it all new again. Even though these are really nice Levi jeans, they just don't fit. Like look at the ass on that. Wow. <gasps> Wait, like I know it's a nice problem to have, but fucking hell, like it's either I stop going to the gym or I just get new jeans and I think it's gonna have to be new jeans because this is just not on. Like the, t the thighs are just getting so tight, it's ridiculous. But anyway, this is not what, what this clip was meant to be. Um, Basically, this is what I'm wearing to go shopping. Psych. Okay, I'm wearing this instead. I don't live for these joggers. Um, because they have like zero shape, they just like all do you know when like joggers just drop to the like drop to the bottom and then it all just bunches up at the bottom? Like they have no hold, like they're not thick enough. Um so I don't live for these joggers, but they're the own they're the only joggers that I have right now that are grey and I look awful. But you know what? We're not gonna tell ourselves that. We're gonna go to the shops. Yes, I've changed again. Now let's go. Didn't vlog again because I was on FaceTime to my friend, but I'll give you a haul, absolutely. So that's pending. Oh, what a high! Imagine how good this setup's gonna be for cooking with bread. Actually, I might tell, I might, I might ask your opinion on that because realistically, most of my um, 
people that watch all my other stuff aren't going to be watching this. Um, only the loyal and the OGs will be watching this. So for Cooking with Brad, I had a really fun idea to try and, not even try, but that I think would be fun, like a fun way of relating it to my usual content. So, I've definitely seen before, do you know like James Charles and people like that? Problematic, I know. Um, I've definitely seen some people like him do those videos where like, they try and recreate like a certain food that is best known from like a TV show or a movie. So I was thinking like, imagine if we turned Cooking with Brad into that, where I'm like trying to cook things that we mainly know through movies or TV shows or like, just like dishes that kind of became popular through that kind of thing. So if you guys think that's a good idea, let me know. If you think it's a bad idea, I guess let me know. But for now, we're about to do a quick, not even quick, because there's quite a bit here. We're doing a quick TK Maxx slash HomeSense haul. Okay? So, first thing, let's just go for it. Also, wait, I do want to quickly talk to you about my new Wi-Fi. Because I've just uploaded for the first time on this Wi-Fi, right, to Vimeo. I've just uploaded a Haunting of Hill House episode, episode 9, right? I'm, I'm saying this because you've obviously seen it by then, by whenever this goes up. Um, but... Guys, this Wi-Fi is that good. Usually, an hour's episode of like Haunting of Hill House, because obviously un unedited and everything, it comes up to about an hour. Um, they take up several hours to upload to Vimeo on my other Wi-Fi, right? Guys, at this place, I sat down at like seven minutes past. It was done for 11 minutes past. So my life's about to get re real, real quick. Okay, but anyway, so we've got this, which is just a cream throw. I then got another throw. This one's for my bed, or for potentially on the sofa, but I'm thinking more for my bed, because I've only got one on my bed currently, and I quite like two. Um, I got this like green, like olive green one that's like really cozy. It's got like the white, is it wool? Don't know, it's not important, is it? Premium quality throw, absolutely. I can attest to that. But yeah, that was really cute. Do people usually say prices in, in these? Um, this one was 35 pounds. This one was 17 pounds. I then got a bath mat. This one that says filthy gorgeous. And it's a really nice yellow shade. And she's huge, like for a bath mat, like she's massive. They all see in this. She's big. So I'm excited. She's a mammoth. Oh, I thought it's on the floor. Oh well. Then I got a set of like utensils because I have got utensils, but they're really ugly, so I bought some cute ones. And this is only eight, eight pounds, which for five utensils, that's very good. What's, what was this? Ooh. That was £15 for that bath mat, which is very good, I think. I think. Now we've got some bric-a-brac and pot- um, not pottery. Like, glass- I guess- yeah, it's pottery. Um, first of all, I got this- is it a colander? A sieve? I don't think that's important. Um, but I got this one, just like a very cute cream. Looks white on camera, but it's definitely cream. It's like an off-white, I guess. Um, this was- Eight pounds for a colander. This is a very homeware, kind of boring haul. I'm sorry, but now, now it's spicing up. So I got this little cup for like my espressos. So it'll probably just sit there usually, because look how cute that looks with that full of blue, and then it kind of ties these shades together, I feel like. So, so basically it's for whenever I have like a, an espresso shot and it needs to go into my cup, because my coffee cup doesn't fit underneath that, unfortunately, kind of floor, but it is under this. Um, and that was five pounds. That's spending for a little cup. Um, this was, this, this was five pounds. How are they about for the same price? Make that make sense. That's what I say. Um, but this is a lovely like blue cup. Look, look, how good, look how good the cup selection's looking so far. Can you see this? This is kind of it for, I think, glasses. Although guys, there was a beautiful one, which if I was vlogging, I would have shown you it. 
but I wasn't vlogging because I was on, on FaceTime to my friend. So I've, I've not had the best day. Since the outfit situation, guys, my mood's gone real downhill. Um, I'm just not doing well in terms of my body. Not that I'm feeling bad about my body, it's trying to get clothes to fit my body that's been really a problem. And I know what y'all are thinking, you're probably like, Brad, like, it, people have it much harder. And I don't, I'm not gonna disagree with you, but also that like, it's so difficult to try and get clothes like, when you've got like, a thick thigh, a bum, but like a slightly smaller waist, like, it's difficult. And I'm not taking away from anyone that has it difficult. We're all difficult together, okay? But anyway, back to my mugs. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm going for like an array of different kind of mugs, and then they're the glasses that we're going with. Then I've got two bowls, a little bit more of a neutral option, but I thought like these looked really cute, like to kind of go with my Oliver Bonus mug that you'll see up there. Um, I, thought, I thought these were really cute. So yeah, they were six pound each, not bad. And then, oh, these made me my, these made me my favorite things, and I found these last, I'm so glad I found them. They're like little bowls with like fun, fun like hand painted pro. I mean, made in Italy, guys. These are made in Italy. Look, it says limon for lemon, and obviously spaghetti. Vig is it vingole? Vigole? Don't know. But oh my god, is that a recipe? I think that's got a recipe. But look how cute these bowls are. And I got another bowl, uh, another plate because it matches the bowls that I just showed you. But it's like this speckled moment but fun and this was only eight pounds that's that all right see you in a bit on tomorrow morning okay so it's about 10 to 8 um i just got a call from <laughs> <laughs> I just got a call from Ikea saying that they're on their way and they'll be about half an hour so I basically need to get dressed because um, I need to get help them get my sofa upstairs oh my god to be fair well, I'm a little I'm a little bit nervous because I'm not sure if it's going to fit in the elevator but surely it will um, so I'm a little bit nervous about that. So as soon as the sofa's up, I'm not worried anymore because there's nothing else I'm going to buy that's going to be difficult to bring up. Does that make sense? Um, so there's that. Well, I guess let's get dressed. So the men have gone. It doesn't fit in the lift. And I'm now going to have to try and get it up the stairs on my own. So there's that. Okay, so a very kind stranger helped me lift it up 12 flights of stairs, so thank you to you. She's in. And she's sexy. Oh yeah. Guys, she's nice and big, which I mean she should be because she didn't fit in the fucking lift. Um, but yeah, she's gorgeous, I love her. And yeah, thank God she's upstairs. Jesus Christ, that was a process. Thank you to the man that helped me bring her up. It's very much appreciated. I will be getting him a gift to say thank you. I'm just so tired. I need to go, go, go to a food shop. I need to shave. I really need to shave, like bad. Like, look how disgusting. You know what? Okay. Oh, you fucker. Ignore all the rubbish, it will get taken down at some point. But, um, today is the day that I see my mum, we're gonna go shopping, we're gonna go to the cinema, we're gonna bring more stuff over from the other flats. Just thought I'd show you the outfit situation. Might not end up wearing these because they are rubbing me to filth. But, in essence, these would be a great choice. And I'll probably wear this jacket. Absolutely, this is the vibe. If these weren't rubbing me, they'd be great. Guys, any advice on what I can do to bed these motherfuckers in? Because I've had them for so long and they just attack my ankles. And it's pissing me off because they're sexy. Oh, also, I didn't show you this. This came last night. A 
fun little side table moment. I love her. Now, I recall wanting that for the old flat and I never got it because I didn't have space. Um, so I decided I'd get it for this flat. That lighting was nicer there. Ooh, a little bit of sun. I'm still yet to shave, to be honest, and it's not looking good. But anyway, yeah, I'm sure you'll see my mum today. I get the PS4 today, she's bringing that. I need to order games for that, actually. Yeah, it's gonna be a fun day, hopefully. Hopefully we get some fun bits. We're, we're currently moving some shit over. Look at this. Look at this efficiency. <laughs> We've just had to trade bags because she had my bag of plants and she's not safe. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, we're, we're going to the new flat now. <laughs> we're currently in H&M home and I tell you what, they've got some lovely bits. Look at that, wow. Um, but yeah. We're off to some dinner, we've just run everything back to the flat. I'll give you a haul when we're back. <laughs> but we're gonna go for some dinner, we're gonna go for a Nando's. God, we're kind of matching. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm confused. So I bought this thinking I was getting Born to Die and then the added on Paradise Collection. Because that's what it says on the back. Like it, on this box, it has them all included. But I've just opened it. Now, what makes no sense to me is like this is a big, like, boxy like boxy number like this is not just your normal thingy so i opened it cardboard and all i've got is just the paradise edition like the paradise section because there's enough space in there to fit both so i don't understand why there's just been a piece of cardboard put in there as a space filler like i feel like i've been ripped off but i don't I don't want to go back and cause some havoc in Urban Outfitters if that's just the way it works. But then why would you not just sell the Paradise Edition separate? Like, why would it have to be in that weird box? It says eight brand new tracks on, on heavyweight vinyl. Then it says slash limited slip slip, what? It says limited slip case holds original Born to Die LP. So am I meant to get Born to Die separate and then put it in here as well. What? This was 28 pounds and this album's been out for how long? So I bet loads of people bought the original and then, ah, wait, it kind of doesn't make sense because if people had already bought the original, they obviously did that. So then people wouldn't have to pay more money to get the original songs again, just in different packaging, as well as eight other songs. So they've done that, haven't they? So then people just buy the Paradise Edition and then they can put their other one in that too. Maybe that does make sense then. Okay, speaking to you guys and speaking through it does make sense, but what? That didn't make sense to me. Okay. Okay. Actually, pause Colleen, thank you very much. Hi everyone. So it's later that same day. I look like I'm wearing like little, little mini shorts, but I promise they are substantial shorts. They're just rode up, all right? Um, so give me a break. Also, I haven't worn these socks in so long. I think it's just because like, I don't know, like something about a blue foot. I'm, I, I'm just not sure about it. Um, but you know what? We're in the house. Okay, we're about to get really personal. Guys, I've got a massive homeware haul. Oh my lordy lord. Um, I did some damage today, which I kind of expected to. Okay, we've got a few boring things, so let's go that way. Um, I first of all bought some new bedding. I'll obviously show you this on. It's like flannelly and it's like a lovely green. Okay, got that. You'll notice I'm actually, I've actually got quite a lot of green, which is not shocking because I do love green. Green's like one of my favorite colors, or if not, my favorite color, okay? So I already had this stuff, but I basically gave my mum my um, bog brush from my other place because it was brand new, right? Before I moved into this place, I literally bought a bog brush like not long ago at all. So it was brand new. So that's not weird, but I've literally not even used it, okay? So I gave him my bog brush because it was really cool and nice and thin because I found matching things. 
and they're all really nice. It's a lot. God, a lot. God, it's not often you see a clean bob brush, is it? <laughs> God, who'd have thought? But yeah, and I also had, I, I do have some of these, but I'm thinking I might bring them into here because they're a bit fancier, and the one that I've got in here currently is not that nice. Then I just got literally just a pan basic. No one cares about the pan, okay? I then got this chopping board because I've been after a big one, but then I went to um, H&M Home and they had just a better one, a more chic one. Oh, guys, I'm so excited to show you the H&M stuff. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're fucking spending. H&M is not cheap, let me tell you that. So I kind of splurged in H&M, all right? So I did get that and that will be used, don't get me wrong, it's gonna be like my everyday moment. Then I've got a fancier one for fancier times. But anyway, let's get into H&M, I guess. I'm going for quite neutral tones with the bowls because I feel like I'm going, I'm not going neutral anywhere else. So I feel like I want to go neutral with the bowls and like the plates and stuff, but I also want them to be all very mismatched. Like I don't want them to necessarily match each other. Like I don't want like four of the same bowl or like four of the same plate. I'm just like loving the idea of having loads of different random things. Some may find that weird. That's just kind of my vibe. Um, so I got this, it's gonna be a fruit bowl, which I'm very excited about. I bought some apples, so they can definitely go in here. And that's, this is just going to be going on my island. Obviously, I'll show you everything when I put them places and whatnot. And like, we can do a full on tour when everything's finished. I then got a smaller version, um, which is just like, it's going to be a nice like cereal bowl. It's not the, like, it's not the deepest, but you know what? If I'm, if I'm feeling skinny and I'm feeling a little bowl, maybe on an evening when I just want a, my little growler fix, then that's a great one for that. Love her. I then also got, a plate that was very similar shade. I don't think it's the exact same. No, it's a bit darker. But um, I got a plate. I'm liking like the really flat ones with like the slight, like the slightly curved edge. Got that. So they all kind of match. Yeah, they basically match. But then I got a little rogue item. I got a little saucer that was green, and it's like, guys, it's so rough. And like, I just like that it's not a perfect circle. Does that make sense? Like, I like that it's kind of like looks kind of homemade somewhat. Do you know what I mean? I just love it. I just love it. I've not been telling you prices, and to be honest, some of these are fucking expensive. Like, that was a fiver. <laughs> a fiver. Eight pounds. Fuck me. 25 pounds for a fruit bowl. Yikes. And tenner, tenner for a plate. Okay. No wonder it was pricey. Next is kind of the piece de resistance. This and something else from H&M. And it's this. So I did think this is fun. It's literal marble. Like I could kill someone with this. Holy shit. So my mum picked this up, picked this up and I was like, grab this, it'll make a lovely little bowl for like on your console table, like to put your keys in. 30 quid. God, Mum. Thanks, I guess. Um, I got some tea towels. This is the chopping board. I'm sorry, that just tr that trumps the Wilco's one. I mean, as it should for the fucking price. 30 quid for a chopping board. <laughs> but yeah, I loved her. I like that she's not perfect. She's raw. I just love her. Okay, so I'm excited about her. She's like my fancy chopping board. Okay. Got a new brush, two pounds, no one cares. <laughs> then we've got Urban, got some very fun things from Urban. Now, now H&M was more chic, neutral things, mainly for the kitchen. Urban was more like fun pops of colour for the space, which is what I wanted, because I've seen a lot of things on Urban's website, um, such as this pillow. Now this is going to be going on there, but I'm planning on getting loads of different like funky coloured cushions. And I think she looks great, she really goes well with the blue. She was lovely. I think she was 30 quid also, which is pretty funny, but I mean, Urban is funny. Um, oh, I also got this from H&M Home. This was 25 pounds. This is also gonna be going on the sofa. My vinyl table. Guys, I don't think I've updated on your, I don't think I've updated you on the vinyl table, have I? Guys, I've ordered a really cool cabinet and it's supposed to arrive tomorrow, so I'll update you when that comes. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Um, I got, all oh, these were also from Wilkinson's, I believe. Sorry. Kind of going back and forth. Um, just got some new towels, hand towel. Once again, very green. 
I like it. Um, I then got another bath mat because obviously I've got my one currently, but I think it's good to have one to like wash and then one to, do you know what I mean? Um, it's always good to have two of, of some things. So my other one obviously says filthy gorgeous. This one says get naked. This is a lovely little bath mat, get naked baby. Um, I then got a few more things. So I got another saucer. I don't know, there's just something about cute saucers. Guys, that was 11 pounds. <laughs> That was 11 pounds for a fucking salsa. But she's really cute, like look at this little set. Are you joking? That is, a... that is adorable. Okay, no one can tell me any otherwise. I then got this really fun bowl that's got just like loads of flowers and I love anything. I'm not sure if I said this already. God, this is nine. Oh no, that's euros. 15 pounds, okay, not so bad. Um, I love anything that looks really homemade. I don't know, I just think it's fun. Like, life's too short to have like everything matching all the time. So yeah, I love her. She's got like flowers in. My mum was pissing herself when I was looking at that. She was like, what are you doing? And then last but not least, we've got this little mirror, which I think is really cute when it stands up. I just like the little check moment, the little yellow moment. Not sure where it's going, to be quite honest, but I think she's really cute. 19 pounds. Okay, it's been, a, it's been an expensive day for me, let me tell you. Anyway, I'll speak to you soon, probably tomorrow now with a few more deliveries. I've got pans, I've got um, my vinyl table coming. So I'll see you then. Hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. I've got a feeling this is gonna be a long ass vlog, okay? So I hope you're enjoying. Guys, this is an exciting parcel. And I think you'll all agree, okay? So, First of all, actually, I will say this. I didn't expect it to be this big, okay? So there's that, but it was expensive, so it kind of means that it was more worth the money. Okay, can you see? Can you see that? I don't know if you can see it. Oh, it's, oh, it's big and she's nice. Okay, so this is in fact a neon sign that says, hi in wiggly letters and like I couldn't think of anything else that is so close so closely related to the channel um I found it on Urban Outfitters and I'm not gonna lie to you people it was 300 pounds okay so she was not cheap by any means but I figured she's gonna be in the background of every single video like it's worth it's worth it, absolutely. Yeah, I feel like I'll try and set her up and then I'll show you her um, set up. But currently in the box, this is what she looks like. Can you see? This is the H, that's the I, it's wiggly. But yeah, I'll set her up and I'll be back. Hi. Um, it's first thing on the morning and basically I've not vlogged for a few days because I was just getting like a lot of deliveries um, and I didn't really know how much to show you guys because I am wanting to do a separate video to this one that you're watching because I know for a fact it's going to be a long boy. Um, I am wanting to do a separate video that I've had an idea about that's going to be really fun when the flat is more or less finished or like at a really good place, all rooms, okay? Today basically I'm going to be going to my old flat just to clean it up, just before they bring in people to do viewings and stuff. Probably probably one of the last times I'm gonna be going to the flat because I've now got everything at this flat. There's no reason for me to go back to the other one other than to clean it. Um, so I'm doing that this morning, but I thought before I go, um, I shall give you a quick visual as to what the living room is looking like because the living room is getting there. So there's still some stuff to do, but the living room is more or less getting there. Um, whereas the other two rooms aren't as close. Um, so hopefully when they are, when it's all kind of finished, I'm going to be doing a really fun video. So definitely stick around for that if you're enjoying the moving content. Um, but yeah, so let me give you a quick visual as to what's going on in here now because I'm absolutely obsessed. Also, I do think this outfit is kind of fun. Now, considering the reason why I'm wearing a bandana mainly is because I haven't had time to cut my hair and it looks really bad. Um, so I thought, you know what, it's a bandana day. And then I was like, matchy matchy and then pop a blue to go with red always works but anyway let's give you a quick bish 
Okay, oh my god, you can see me in the wonky mirror. Look how thin it makes me look. <laughs> um, okay, this is the visual. Ignore the stuff on the coffee table. That's stuff I'm taking to my old flat because um, I've got to build some, something back up. But yeah, this is the current visual. This is what we've currently got going on. I'm going to give you a quick rundown of kind of what I've got left to do. Like, I'm wanting to put some vinyl up there. I need to get a vinyl player. I've got a really fucking in incredible clock that was very expensive that's going to be going there. I'm very excited. I've got my friends. My friend did a print um, that I'm going to hopefully get printed and framed to put there. This needs to be hung. Um, I'm wanting to get a massive lamp to go there. Um, and then this space will be more or less finished. Oh, I had a thought about this corner. I'll update you on that, I'm sure, at some point. I'm not sure what to do here. So if you guys have got any ideas on what to do here, please do let me know. But yeah, the kitchen's relatively finished, to be honest. There's not much to be done. Um, but yeah, so there's your visual. There's what's going on. I'm absolutely fucking buzzing with it. I think it looks so cool. Um, especially from way back here, like, look at all that. Look at all that! Anyway, um, let's go to my old flat and this can be the end of this vlog. All done! It's empty. Yeah, it is. And that's the end of this vlog, guys. I'm now back at my old flat. Uh, no, back at my new flat. Um, and hopefully you enjoyed this video. I reckon it's going gonna, it's gonna to have been really long. Love your arts. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. Bye. Bye.